and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. Virtual digital assets or VDA markets were trading in positive territory during the past 24 hours, led by increased net inflows in the spot BTC exchange traded funds launched in the US two months ago. Bitcoin, the king cryptocurrency, traded above $73,000 level. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading up by 2.8% at 96,640 points. Interestingly, the newly launched ETF product has triggered a wave of buying from institutional investors while retail participation remains muted, nowhere near the November 2021 level. Apart from the ETFs, the rally has found legs from macroeconomic factors including the expectations of interest rate cuts, which some uh, experts argue are barely a cause behind the current euphoria. Bitcoin exchange traded funds experienced a staggering $1.05 billion in net inflows on March 12th. This milestone represents a remarkable 56% rise over the net inflows of $673 million recorded on February 28th. Moving on, Coinbase Global has recently planned to take advantage of the rally in the cryptocurrency market this year as the crypto exchange announced plans to raise $1 billion through the sale of senior convertible notes. Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, was seen taking a breather after scaling to a new high amid completion of the Denkin upgrade. It recently changed hands below $4,000. Well, the Denkin hard fork on Ethereum's mainnet has finally been launched on March 13th, marking the most anticipated hard fork since the merge. It is expected to reduce transaction fees of layer 2 networks and improve Ethereum's scalability. In other news, Solana, a layer 1 blockchain, has experienced a significant drop from $260 in late 2021 to $8 in early 2023. However, the cryptocurrency has recently reached its highest price since January 2022, reaching $160. It is the fifth largest cryptocurrency by market cap, trailing behind Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether and BNB. The global cryptocurrency market cap was at $2.77 trillion mark, increasing 0.4% in the last 24 hours. However, the total trading volume decreased by 18% to $133 billion. Furthermore, BNB Chain has launched the Airdrop Alliance program, a community-centric initiative aimed at rewarding its supporters. This initiative has led to a significant increase in BNB's value, which has risen over 12%. The program aims to express gratitude to existing users and encourage active participation within the ecosystem. PancakeSwap has launched PancakeSwap 4v, uh, v4, a platform that has introduced technical advancements to improve efficiency, reduce cost and streamline trading. The platform consolidates all pools into a single contract, resulting in a 99% reduction in pool creation gas cost. Meanwhile, Dog with Hat, a popular meme coin on the Solana blockchain, will be displayed in Las Vegas after community members raised enough funds to display its mascot Shiba Inu on the sphere, the city's orb-shaped entertainment venue. US top futures traded higher as market participants focused on key economic inflation data. Dow Jones Industrial Average Futures increased by 0.3%, S&P 500 Futures gained 0.3%, while Nasdaq 100 Futures rose 0.5%. Bitcoin was trading at $73,160, down 0.1%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was down by 1.6%, trading at $3,985. BNB was up by 5% to trade at $612. Solana SOL was up 13% and was trading at $173. Cardano's AD token was up by 5.7% to trade at $0.8. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $57.4, higher 6.7%. Polygon Matic was trading up by 1% to trade at $1.2. Doge the popular meme coin was trading up by 9.5% at $0.18. Shiba Inu was trading up by 4%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.69, up by 0.5%. Polkadot was up by 6.3% to trade at $11.8. That's all on CoinMonitor for now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share, and subscribe to 3 Toto TV. And for more information and stories, log on to our website www.3bostv.io or scan the QR code. With 3 Toto TV, stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with 3 Dotto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. 3 Dotto TV delivers the news that matters.
The Denken Hartford on <clears throat> the Denken Hard Fork on Ethereum's minute was launched on March 13th, marking the most anticipated hard fork since the merge. It is expected to reduce transaction fees of layer 2 networks and improve Ethereum's scalability. However, Arthur Brickman, co-founder of the Tezos blockchain, believes that the Denken upgrade doesn't address all the shortcomings of layer 2 solutions. The upgrade incorporates nine Ethereum improvement proposals to improve transaction management and processing on the execution and consensus layers. Proto Dank Sharding or Data Blobs via EIP 4844 aims to reduce layer 2 transaction fees by enhancing data availability. Max Waddington, a research analyst at Fidelity Investments, suggests that users who wish to benefit from the fee change must sacrifice some decentralization and security by transacting on L2s instead of Ethereum. Blast, an Ethereum layer 2 scaling network, has stopped producing blocks following the Denken upgrade to the Ethereum mainnet. The team is working on a fix and will share an update and post-mortem once the fix is live. Blast launched its minute on February 29th after months of build-up, allowing users to withdraw their funds. However, users are increase increasingly investing more funds into the network to take advantage of emerging DeFi protocols and potential token airdrops opportunities. With over $2.9 billion in total value logged as of this writing, Blast aims to take market share away from rival platforms. Hundreds of millions of dollars have flown into newly created protocols and buzz is growing about other projects in the ecosystem. Say Labs, a startup co-founded by a former Robinhood engineer and VC from Go2, has launched the Parallel Stack, an open source project aimed at making Ethereum faster and less expensive for developers. The project free for crypto developers improves the performance of transactions per second of Ethereum virtual machine based layer 2 blockchains through parallel processing. Say Labs raised $30 million to build its own layer 1 blockchain for crypto trading a year ago and now focuses on improving Ethereum, the largest by total value locked, according to CoinMarketCap. The project is free for crypto developers to use.